Hi, Evil fans. Welcome to Tori Talks with Dr. S. I'm Tori. This is Dr. S. Today we'll be talking about Evil Season 4, Episode 8, entitled How to Save a Life. First of all, happy birthday, David. He's 40. That actor's not really 40, but... He's older, right? Yeah. Yeah. But he looks good. Yeah. He could totally pass for 40. Anyway, okay, so it was a real treat having Cheryl show up at confession and speaking with David. Yes. I don't know if we've... Have we ever seen a scene with just the two of them before? Because I really liked it. I did, too. And I, for a second, was, like, they didn't acknowledge each other, like, who they were. So, like, you guys know each other, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know they do. Yes, we just haven't for seen sure. them together in a while because she's been kind of <clears throat> blacklisted from the family for obvious reasons. Yes. And then all of a sudden so. he's like, Cheryl. I'm like, okay, yeah. so you do know who she is. <laughs> like, you do remember her, <laughs> yes. right? So, her big plan is to get Timothy baptized. I like her little salute to Jesus. I that was, was like, genius. that's probably what I would do. I thought that whole <laughs> scene was spectacular, like how she didn't dip her hand in the holy water because, you know, she might burst into she's flames. Not worthy. Yes, and then she's like, all right, you know, I guess I have to say something. Like acknowledge yeah. you at least. And it was a respectful <laughs> little salute. But anyway, she is confident that she will be murdered by Leland. I kind of think so, too. I really hope she In some does. way, I think she's going to I die. feel like... Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I know he'll try to, but I just feel like she's so feisty that she's gonna she's gonna not get killed. I hope you're That's right. That's my prediction. I really hope you're right. I hope. Well, anyway, she needs like an emergency baptism for little Timothy because he's about to have a antichrist ceremony. So uh. right, what are they're about to like take him to the next level? Apparently, yeah. Maybe it's so like weird. a whatever the baptism is for the antichrist, like. Their version the of christening, it. but anti-christening. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, well, David has been, he's very busy this episode. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's his birthday. Give him a break. Even when he says to Father Ignatius, he's like, today's not a good day. Now I know why you said that yeah. more than anything. I mean, he has a lot to do, but it's his birthday. Leave him alone. So this whole thing where he goes into his room and then he sees a vision of a surprise party. I mean, birthday party, yeah. but it's for this man named Tyler, mm -hmm. um, was, well, sad. It was sad. Very sad. It was really sad. So this guy, Tyler, he, he lost his son in a, some kind of car accident, mm -hmm. and he's not grieving well. Mm -hmm. I mean, how could you, of course? But, like, this is, like, next level where he's feeling suicidal and even thinking about taking his children with him. Oh, it was so dark. Yeah. Yeah. It was like really, uh, this episode had me on edge because I, uh, you know, we've talked about this, but if shows kill children, it's almost a deal breaker. We're done. We have to just stop watching. So you I was like, please me. don't make me stop this late into. Yeah. But I really thought he was going to. Oh, they tease it so much when he has oh, the gun pointing The at way him. that I just got chills again, like the way that this show just continually was suspenseful really got me. Oh I was my like gosh. holding my breath often. It's. It's, it was really, it was sad. It was, and then him even yeah. holding the gun to his head. I mean, it was, oh, and then yeah. David's desperation to help him. It was very, yeah, this was a pretty yeah. dark. It was a very dark. Episode. Okay, can somebody, maybe you, remind okay. me who Adina is? Adina wrote, or um, drew some picture that he saw on Tyler's desk of the lamb. And I just don't remember, like they, Kristen and Ben and David all know her, but I don't remember her. And I feel bad. Oh, shoot. I don't, I like she vaguely seemed to wrote. Familiar to me, but I didn't. I can't recall I didn't the come, episode. Yeah, I can't either. Oh shoot! But they go to yeah. her, but then that's kind of it. I mean, that's got to be maybe next episode. We, but that was such that a, she must come back again, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Have some significance. Didn't really give her much to do, and I like her. Yeah. She was sassy. Yeah, thought she was really funny. Okay, so there's this whole thing called AOL, <laughs> okay. which you always think AOL America America Online. Online. Right? Yeah. Is that that's got it? I mean, you, there's no way they didn't think that. I literally laugh every time. It's a I joke, say it. right? Yeah. Like it's well, a joke. come on. Yeah. Is analytical overlays a real thing? Because Ben seemed to be like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he totally knew what it was. No, it's AOL online, yes. guys. Okay, please. That that <laughs> is taken. So stop it. But anyway, so now we're trying to figure out because Ben's like, no, I think you're just confused, and then they're they're basically making David believe that this isn't he's not a real person because mm -hmm. they Google the son dying and then like they can't find it, they can't find him. It's just. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. So I think, <clears throat> like, one option is that the whole scenario was AOL. Yes. Right? That the guy doesn't exist. None of this is real. And it's distracting him from what he's supposed to see. 
Uh, which but, Father Dominic wants him to see. Clearly, with everything he laid out for him, it's the ceremony. Right. Satanic. Because then we finally saw it at the end. It was like the cigar cutter. The pastry of some the sort. The pastry. Yeah. <laughs> and then the red that's on the baby. Yes. And then whatever they're looking at that we didn't get to see. I want to know. But the, the family thing was real also. Yeah. But it was also distracting him. Yes. So it was AOL. <laughs> No, okay. But it didn't disappear when he said it, right? Like, right. they didn't disappear. They were actually upstairs, which isn't that crazy. They were, like, in the same yeah. house. Ooh. Yes. So, I love that they're always throwing in Dr. Boggs, Kurt, Dr. Kurt is mm-hmm. what I call him, somehow. Yeah. But that was a good tie-in this time. Yeah, finally. Because yes. sometimes mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I get it. He's, he's We love him, and yes. we want to see him, but this was good. Yeah. Well, first of all, Leland's little minion is not working there anymore, the mm-hmm. one that gives him the, the tapes. The, yes, the info. Because, mm-hmm. Yes, good job, Cheryl. It's yes. another win for Cheryl. Good job, Cheryl, yes. But then also... The team is desperately trying to say, like, hey, you have a patient named Tyler, and he's going to do horrible things. And he's like, I, I don't even have a patient named Tyler. But then we realize yes. the wife is Oh, how good was that? That was great. I yes. saw that, and I was just like, oh, God. So, well, But I still done. thought it was going to be a near miss. I was like, oh, no. Like, it's the wife, not the oh. husband, so he's never going to know. And then she says his name, Tyler, and I was like, oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> and then Dr. Boggs has a redemption moment because he does something with that information. Good job. Oh, thank goodness, because I couldn't. So, question, because you're, you know, a psychologist. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are, you, you're you supposed to keep everything um, confidential unless there's intent to harm yourself or others, yes? Yes. Same thing with being a nurse. Yes. You, mm-hmm. you, have to, you can't say anything. Right. But, yes, right. so he technically did have to tell them. I mean, maybe not details, right? But he, didn't he have to? Inf- oh, not. but that would be a, like a police or something, right? Well, I mean, technically, a technically, I don't know if it even applies because the, like, Kristen and them told him. It wasn't the patient that told him. True. Right? And then she didn't, the wife okay. didn't even really say anything. So I guess he was just covering his butt okay. out of, like, his own ethical responsibility. But yeah. he did convey enough information. But technically, he wasn't really betraying anything, right? Except to reveal to them that, yes, the wife, yeah. There's, and he wouldn't even say wife. He's like, yeah. yep, somebody's here yeah. that might fit so, that description of what you're saying. Yeah, so I guess he did, like, He didn't do wrong. He didn't do wrong, and he did. He did pretty. Yeah, he wanted to be do the right thing, so he probably was more cautious. Yeah, because he was protecting, like possible, lives. Yes. So. So luckily, they show up on time. David (laughs) gets through to him, and then he's going to get treatment. So everything's good with that, right? Yes, I was very happy with that. Okay. Thank you. Should we talk about the baptism scene? Yes. Oh, yeah. God, that's so good. Okay, because it was supposed to happen, happen with David, but then Leland, dum dum Leland, is like, no, I need to change the plans. Yeah. I love that she has Leslie, the birth mother, helping with this yes, whole thing. So, I do too. so fun. Um, so she changes the plan. So she's like, she has to do it at night and in the middle of a blackout. And then Sister Andrea first is like, no. But then she smells and sees demon. Yes, that was so good. On Timothy. Wait, yes, because they smell bad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> I, I would think they would, yes. So then we have Father Ignatius to help. And I love it's like, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah. Like, she's like yeah. rushing through I it. love like the storm, you know, it's like God is trying to like stop it at all costs. Like there's no water, the pipes are frozen. Oh. These are all like acts of God, right? Oh, is that God? I thought that was sa- Satan. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It shows how much yeah, I Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, totally. Well, yeah, right? Yeah, because it would be Satan trying to stop it. No, you're totally right. Yeah, but then... Yeah. And then it's just funny how it all played. But I just love how Christine Lottie, who plays Crazy she's Grandma Cheryl, so is so good with the, like, yeah, okay, Father's Son. Whatever. Yeah. She's just like, whatever you say, I totally believe in everything. And then whew, everything is quiet after the baptism. And then the lights come back on and all is well in the world. And the baby's, like, all cute and giggly. Giggly. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then the best moment, probably my favorite moment, is when she um, nails the certificate of mm-hmm. baptism on the door with a picture yes. of Timothy. And then um, Sister Andrea and Father Ignatius. So that's so good. When Leland sees it, he says something about like Martin Luther, or or she says it, Cheryl. Oh, she says it. Yeah, because I think I don't remember the exact thing, but I remember he like nailed something on the wall, like some type of. Do you know that reference? I minorly like like I know. Is that that pretty accurate? Historically, I I just remember. I don't know. I don't remember, but I do remember something about nailing something on the door. Okay, I was just like I wanted to be in on that, but (laughs) I had no idea. But I was like, yeah, whatever. I think it's a very commonly known big historical moment. I just don't remember exactly, but I'm sure it was really big. Yeah, I mean, I went to Catholic school for like eight years, but yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I try. Okay, so. Of course, that's going to ruin the satanic baptism. 
or does it? I don't know because they are all giving their blood or whatever to him, and then something is revealed. And but but Dum Dum Leland was like, they then they kind of look at it. Whatever was revealed, yeah. kind of um, we don't positively. know, right? Like it, it's like it, it wasn't what they were expecting. Yes, because so what were they the vision that he's supposed to see is like a red painting, right? That's, yes, but it wasn't a red painting. We saw the baby wearing a red gown or yes. whatever. So I don't know if and that's supposed to be the painting is or is what we're looking at supposed to be the painting. And maybe think of uh, the new Prince Charles or King Charles. Uh, remember that they revealed like a portrait of him and he's like all red. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw that reference, but that's all I envisioned behind that. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Well, I'm so, excited to see what is throwing them all off like that. Leland definitely feels like he's he like mutters a curse word. So obviously he knows like something's going to yes. go wrong here. So. Okay, let's talk about little nuggets that I saw in there. First of all, when Cheryl was talking to David, he, he she said, "Please look out extra for Lexus." So, oh, yes. So that's interesting. She said they think he's the John the Baptist of uh, the Antichrist. The Antichrist. Yes. Okay. Just something. And then when he was doing the remote viewing with Ben and Kristen assisting, and he was saying what he saw, uh-huh. we saw a lot of familiar objects. But did we see Eddie? My Eddie. Was that what that doll was? Okay, our one viewer who's always talking about Eddie My Eddie. Yeah. Did we just see Eddie My Eddie? That's what I was wondering. They referenced something like a doll there or was a toy, a doll. but was that part of a different case? Because Eddie My Eddie should be in Cheryl's mm. room or where she used well, to live. Well, it's just a vision, right? Yeah. So it could be any. Yeah. Well, they, I don't know, but... Yeah. I saw that too, and I wondered the exact same thing. I was like, is that Eddie my Eddie? Eddie my Eddie sighting. Yes. Yeah, it might have well, happened. Finally. finally. We, need, we do need him to come back. Yes. Like full circle. Everything needs to be cleaned up. Please. But, yes. like, let's start now. Time's yeah, a ticket. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so another thing was when Father Ignatius says that he doesn't, I don't think he trusts Father Dominic. I don't think I trust Father oh, Dominic. Oh, yeah. No. We don't trust him, right, guys? Well, he's very secretive, and, and I don't know. David feels, I, feel, I feel like he's exploiting David's visions, his, yes. his ability, his gift. Yes. So, yeah. So, I mean, I hope it's for good. It seems like so far what he's doing is saving people. Yeah, he's but, doing good, yeah, right? Yeah, I hope. I hope that's what oh, it is. Please. Yeah. And then, last thing is David's AOL of Kristen in a robe getting ready for, I think, a bath oh, or a yes. shower. Okay, wait. Are oh. we going back to that? I thought we, like, squashed it or I just mean, friends or is he still is he yeah. going to be fantasizing about her again? What are we doing? I, I thought we closed that It's book. so funny because, you know, the whole priest thing, we're supposed to, like, not, I guess, root for them. But right. But that internal desire is still there for us to see them together. I mean, together. they have chemistry. We like I get them it. together. We yes. like them together. But and then even though, Andy. like, I'm not Catholic, I still like, oh, but he's a priest. Yeah. We still yeah. feel like... It's what he believes. So we don't want him to go against what he believes. But let's say he is like, you know what? Screw this. All this stuff, science seems a little making a good argument here, and he gets rid of the collar, then go for it. Okay, I also got <laughs> evil Kristen vibes when she was drinking her can of margarita at the birthday party that Ben and her threw. Him. I don't know why. She got a little, and maybe she's just feeling I love loose when she drinks that. Whenever drinking. she has her little margarita can, I'm like, yeah. oh, we're going to have some fun tonight. But when she was asking him, she got, like, so close and kind of seductively asked him questions. I was like, what yes, is happening? She did. But are you back? The demon Chris, or, what yeah, demon Kristen? He, they're in the car, and he pulls out his, like, collar dicky. Those are called dickies. Are they? Yeah, so, like, those, like, um, so, like, let's say you get a blazer with a hoodie. Yeah. Layer. Well, if there's not really a hoodie under there, it's, like, a dicky. Oh. So it just looks like a, like a, a layered thing. Well, he had, like, a priest collar dicky. It's like you, like, you just have that readily available. In your glove compartment. And then who is it that jokes, like, oh, to get out of speeding tickets? And David doesn't deny it. His face <laughs> is kind of like, hmm, maybe it's happened That's before. That's so funny. But you shouldn't be reaching into your glove compartment if you get pulled over, especially as a black David. man. David. Yes. And then you're reaching for your dicky collar. <laughs> so hilarious. Anyway, okay. Okay. Well, let's, uh, yeah, what, obviously, like, what do you think about all this? But, um, and comment below. And I will say next week's is going to be a little late, our episode review. Sorry about that. But um, you guys, thank you for always coming along and commenting. And we really appreciate you guys. And they, they're so insightful, too. So oh, yeah. thank you. There's a lot of things that we miss that you pick up on. So thank you for um, just for being there for us. And then we'll see you sometime next week. Thanks. Bye.